<laughs> with an amazing okay. lead. Unfortunately for Justin, the Ditto will okay. be opposite the Iron Hands. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. Is it unfortunate? It, I, well, that's to be debated, <laughs> but I think for now we're going to see two Iron Hands in the lead for Justin Burns. Oops, versus all Iron Hands. Iron Hands, hands and Maridon on the field for Giovanni Costa. Wow. <laughs> what a bold lead from Justin. So, okay. The way Ditto works is its imposter ability copies the Pokemon that is matched on the other side of it. So uh, Geo led the Iron Hands and Maridon, and the Ditto is across from the Iron Hands, so Ditto has become Iron Hands, which means there are now two Quark Drive boosted Iron Hands uh, on Justin's side. I and you know, Justin was probably hoping to catch the Maridon, but this seems okay to me. I think this is okay as well. I, I think Justin may even say amp you very much to his opponent. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's the TCG. Never Wrong mind. Wrong game. Wrong game. <laughs> well, I love it. They're in, they're in harmony. They're synchronized. It's so <laughs> cute. Well, looks like Geo does not like having his own uh, Iron Hands up against the two Iron Hands from Justin's side. So Ditto has forced Maridon to lock into Draco Meteor here. Switching in, the Ferrigraph blocks the fake out coming out from the real Iron Hands on Justin's side. And that Draco Meteor has now knocked out Justin's Ditto. So, as hilarious and interesting as it was to see both of those Iron Hands, Geo was able to quickly pick up that KO. Of course, the Ditto holding the Choice Scarf means it did not have the special defense boost from the Assault Vest, and now Maridon, though, does have to switch out because it is at minus two special attack. Exactly. And one other quick point I want to make about Ditto is that when it copies a Pokemon, while it copies a lot of the mm -hmm. stats from that Pokemon, it does not copy the HP stat. So if you're thinking, oh, my Iron Hands is bulky enough to take that Draco Meteor without a problem, not in this case because it was a Ditto and not the actual Iron Hands. All right, and here is another new tech we've been seeing from some of these Ferrigoraf players. The Psychic Noise connects on to Justin's Iron Hands, prevents it from healing, but of course, Justin seeing that on the team sheet just goes for big damage from the Wild Charge, connects into the Ferrigoraf, and sets Trick Room with Calyrex. However, Whimsicott with that Encore exactly. is on the field. Exactly, and that was such a great switch from Giovanni there, recognizing that if his opponent does set up Trick Room, Whimsicott will be able to move faster because it has that Prankster ability, which boosts the priority tier of non-damaging moves. And this Calyrex will get locked into Trick Room or maybe even a Protect for the next turn. So Justin has to make a switch here. I think the Amoongus is a great adjustment it certainly can take damage this turn if that's what was coming in from Giovanni, but will struggle as it's not going to be able to deal damage. It does not have Sludge Bomb. It is a Pollen Puff user. Yeah, this is just the Pollen Puff Among Us, and with the Electric Terrain on the field, is unable to put any of Geo's Pokemon to sleep. However, Justin has the Bolt Switch ability to re pivot. So, Justin. Switched in the Among Us to dodge the Encore and now has both switched out of his own Iron Hands to bring in Calyrex once again. So able to potentially start threatening some damage, except Geo just switched in his own Fake Out user. Yep. Doing some great work to stall out as many of these Trick Room turns as possible. Right, and that is the unfortunate thing for Justin's Calyrex. You can put the Amoongus alongside of it, you can keep it fairly healthy. You could also potentially get some damage down into that Whimsicott to break its Focus Sash, but thanks to the Protect and the Fake Out from Giovanni, this is another passive turn of Trick Room. Yep, there is the Pollen Puff. Amoongus just trying to break the Focus Sash there on the Whimsicott. And now, finally, this Calyrex is going to have an opportunity to attack. It has been waiting this entire time, and Justin has just been trying to re-pivot to put himself in this position. Something is going to take a Glacial Lance here. It is, or we could potentially see a high horsepower into the opposing Iron Hands. Justin has to make a very difficult decision here right now. You want the Whimsicott off the field so it can stop threatening Encore or potentially a Tailwind after Trick Room expires, though. Admittedly, the speed control probably not as important right now. 
or you start focusing in on the Iron Hands, which is the Pokemon that will be doing damage this turn. It's a very tough decision, and I like how Giovanni takes the Whimsicott off the field in favor of the Frigorath, so at least that Whimsicott can come in again the next turn and start oh, threatening Encore once again. Oh, the Pollen Puff connects with the Frigorath, which will pick up the KO on that Pokemon. Justin, though, we'll have to see what he went for. The Drain Punch from Iron Hands deals a good amount of damage. Three hit KO onto the Calyrex, as well as healing up just a little bit. But that Pollen Puff, the Glacial Lance comes out. Oh my uh... god, that was an incredible switch from Geo by switching to Ferrigorap prevents the Whimsicott from going down to the Calyrex specifically, yep. which means there is no uh, there, there is there is no boost coming out from yep. the Calyrex to boost its attack. Instead, Amoongus steals that KO from Calyrex and leaves this Calyrex not as strong as you would want it to be. We also saw the Iron Hands move first in Trick Room relative to that Calyrex, and that's so important for Justin with how he approaches the rest of this game. Once the Twisted Dimensions expire, the Calyrex Calyrex should be able to pick up the KO on this Iron Hands, either with another single target Glacial Lance or potentially that high horsepower for super effective damage. But now he has to find his way through his own Trick Room as the Iron Hands certainly threatens a return knockout. Drain Punch a couple of turns, you can heal yourself up as well, or you can go straight for big damage. And Giovanni going for Encore here, limiting Justin's options, gives his Iron Hands an incredible Ooh. opening. No, uh, no high horsepower coming out from that Calyrex. Here comes the Wild Charge without the Pork Drive boost anymore because Electric Terrain has expired. The Glacial Lance will just connect onto both of them and pick up a double KO. So all of that work that Geo did to prevent the Calyrex from getting a boost last turn, uh, well, it just got two. It just got to, and the Maridon is the only Pokemon remaining right now for Giovanni. Trick Room's over, and Maridon has Discharge. I think if you want to win this game at this point in time, you potentially go for a <laughs> Discharge here. You ensure that you get the knockout on the opposing Calyrex, regardless of a Rage Powder. Yep. And then you just hope that Discharge is enough to win you the game. This is such a difficult position for Giovanni, but he certainly has one of the most powerful Pokemon in the metagame <laughs> to carry him through it. I mean, this is this is this is a fun end game here because uh, you know we know exactly what's going to happen exactly. for the rest of the game. Exactly. Justin knows what's going to happen. There is no sense rage powdering. There is no sense doing anything else. So the protect here is just to continue to limit the power of discharge at as many turns as possible, so that Geo does not get single target discharges. This Calyrex goes down to the discharge. Of course, rage powder not able to protect. So now the Iron Hands gets to come back in, and you know will be able to fake out yep. once and get some pollen puff damage. Yep. Maybe you hope to stall for long enough, but this Iron Hands is weak. It resists, but you know, it's you may tough. resist Maridon, but if you don't four times resist no. and you are against Terra Electric, Electric Terrain Choice Specs Maridon, you don't really resist. Now, the flinch does allow the Moongus to pollen yes, puff back exactly. off the Iron Hands, so it that is kind of a race against the, the Pollen Puff here. And yeah. There is still the paralysis chances the, on that Amoongus. On the Amoongus, a paralysis here would be huge, as that would stop Justin from being able to recover his health on that okay, Iron Hands. Okay. Especially seeing how much oh, damage yeah. Discharge does now. We know that Pollen Puff will be able to outheal that damage on the Pokemon, and it does look like a single Drain yeah. Punch should be enough to lock in that KO. So had Discharge paralyzed the opposing Amoongus, <laughs> had it stopped it from going for those pollen puffs and had this just discharge that maybe gotten a critical hit and then some we could be looking at an end game where giovanni wins unfortunately though with this drain punch justin burns is able to pick up the ko on maridon and win game one of round two to go oh, for that no. rationalization and ooh, okay, here we go. okay okay no three iron hands this time but two maridon this That's is worse. the dream with you a Chi Yu as well. Yeah, a free Chi Yu with the, uh, the the Beads of Ruin boost. Now, this Chi Yu on Geoside is also Choice Scarf. But look, this is what you want. If you're leading Ditto, you're like, please lead your restricted Pokemon. Give me another restricted Pokemon. I want that two restricted meta, and I can't wait for it.
50% of the time, you copy the restricted every time. And that's exactly why Ditto has a spot in these restricted meta game formats. And the combination of fake out and Ditto in particular gives you the opportunity to adjust if the Ditto does end up copying a Pokemon that's less than favorable. But really, with Giovanni running so many special attackers on his team, so many powerful Pokemon, and even running like a Whimsicott, which an Encore would be huge in terms of board control for Justin. I think it's a very safe turn one lead for him. In terms of what you do now that you've copied the Maridon, I think you have your pick, honestly. Maybe you don't go for Discharge, so you're damaging your own Iron Hands, but a very powerful Electro Drift here, or maybe even a Draco Meteor could be huge, and a one-hit knockout onto the Fergarap, which just came in. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, Geo is kind of backed into a corner here, has to bring in the Fergarap because of that fake-out pressure. This is an easily punishable switch from Justin, who has now a huge offensive presence from that Maridon. There is the Draco Meteor. It connects onto the Ferrigraph. Not actually enough to pick up the KO onto Ferrigraph. Very bulky Pokemon, but Geo will fire right back. Picks up another KO onto the Ditto with a Draco Meteor. So basically exactly what happened in game one. Ditto went down, but this time Ditto got to deal big damage into that Ferrigraph while Oh, oh. My. that cork drive is doing so much work for Justin's Iron Hands. Again, amp you very much for the attack boost as that Drain Punch is going to be a two-hit knockout. And given that oh, wow. the Maridon is locked into Draco Meteor and has already taken a special attack drop, there's really nothing Giovanni can do to prevent a KO to that Pokemon this turn. He's going to have to switch that Maridon off the field and then find an opening with the Ferrigarath if it can even attack as... It's possible that the Iron Hand switches out and the Calyrex just picks up the KO there as 26 HP is certainly within Glacial Lance knockout range. Yeah, this is going to be, a, this is a really bad position for Geo here. Getting all of that damage onto Ferrigarath means that, and having the minus two drop from Draco Meteor on the Maridon means Geo doesn't have any really strong ways of preventing Trick Room from going up. Geo has to bring in his own Iron Hands here to try and have a hope to deal some damage back, but it's just going to be a, a wasted turn here means that one of these Pokemon is not going to be able to attack. The Psychic Noise deals big damage to that Iron Hands and will prevent some healing from Drain Punches in the future. But for Rigorap, with that Life Orb, actually deals quite a bit of damage to itself. Justin, though, with the Volt Switch into the uh, Iron Hands that has switched in means Justin gets to pick what Pokemon is coming out here under Trick Room that we have to expect given all the speed tiers and moves we've seen so far that Calyrex is going for. And it's, of course, Calyrex's bestie, oh, no. the Amoongus. No Trick Room, though. No, Interestingly damage. enough, picks up that KO on Ferrigarath, and this might have been a misstep for Justin. I think maybe anticipating that the Maridon was going to stay on the field, pick up the KO with the Glacial Lands, and then if there is that Iron Hands in the back, you know that you are now naturally faster, and you can threaten a huge amount of damage with the attack boosted high horsepower. But instead, Giovanni gets the Maridon back out onto the field. No more attack drops, Iron Hand support as well right next to it. This Maridon is going to have its choice of targets this turn. And with the electric terrain ups as well, there's really nothing this Amoongus can do to try and get the momentum back on Justin's side. Yeah, the only thing that Justin can do right here is double protect away from the fake out. And fortunately, Geo has kept these Pokemon in, so no repositioning here. This is a very safe double protect, blowing the fake out into both of those protects. You know, the Volt Switch would have allowed repositioning, but because of the protects not happening this time around, which means that Justin could still go for the Trick Room here. A uh, combination of Rage Powder plus Trick Room here allows Justin to get that up, bring in his own Iron Hand, and have that Calyrex hopefully able to sweep. And that is the end game that Justin is going for. Now that the Ferrigera has been KO'd, he can set up Trick Room, and there's nothing on Giovanni's side of the field that can reverse the dimensions. You do still have to be careful about the Iron Hands on the opposing side of the field, but as long as that Amoongus has the ability to redirect attacks, there's really nothing that can stop this Calyrex from getting its momentum going. But 
and Ooh. yet another attack from this Calyrex Ice Rider. Oh, yeah. oh, another wow. attack boost on this Calyrex Ice Rider. Justin's just going full on the offense. Yeah, why go for Trick Room when all you need is the Rage Powder? You know, that's actually really safe because it prevents uh, Amoongus from potentially going down there and having to deal with, you know, the slower Iron Hands on Geo's side. So instead, Glacial Lance here, but now you have Chiyu and Maridon who both have the, or, you know, Chiyu does not have Heat Heat wave wave. Here. Yeah, exactly. Single target only. I was going to say, I mean, look at this Chi Yu. Yes, it can go for some Snarl, which will do more damage thanks to its Speeds of Ruin ability, but that's not going to threaten a KO. The move that Giovanni needed to bring here, unfortunately, was going to be Heat Wave. Calyrex mm. does protect this turn, so this could be an easy KO on that Amoongus. But I think that's what Justin wants. I mean, why else would you protect in Rage Powder? Yeah, I mean, you definitely, this is Justin sacrificing the Amoongus. It's going to go down to that Flamethrower no matter what, uh, which means that Justin now gets a free switch into the Iron Hands that's in the back. So it's Iron Hands and the Calyrex here up against the Scarf uh, Chiyu and the Choice Specs Maridon. That is going to be the terrain going down, which means that this Iron Hands is weaker as well as the Maridon itself. Uh, but locking into Electro Gif, this is you know, potentially big damage, although Justin still has not used the Terrastalization. Exactly, and I think why we are seeing Giovanni lock in the mm -hmm. forfeit here to give Justin Burns the win two and zero is simply because the fake out in that final yeah. turn was all Justin